Astro class, and welcome to video two. Today we're going to be talking about the uh, brief and specifications for AS91610 conceptual design. So let's get started. Um, download a copy of the conceptual design book, like we discussed in the last video, and then what you, know, what you need to do is complete this um, issue statement here and this uh, set of rules here for your design project. So let's look at the first thing. The very first thing you need to do is uh, within your team decide on which competition you're going to enter into. I think the two main con the two main uh, competitions are the drag race and deceleration, and then the um, there's another one called the Jim Carner event, which is basically uh, an economy run. So decide in your team which race you're going to do because that will affect your design. So in a team of three people, each of you are going to develop a different part of the vehicle for this assessment. So you need to decide in your group what each person is going to do um, and make that clear right now, right here. So the first thing is somebody needs to design the front suspension and the steering system. Someone else needs to do the chassis or the frame and the seating system. And then a, the third uh, team member needs to design the rear drive system and the brakes uh, and also mounting the electric motor. So you need at least three people in a team. You can't do it with two people. You need three people to complete this. If you have a team of four, the fourth person could be the one designing the, um, co the body cover and the nose cone to reduce drag. So make sure you know what you're doing in your team. Uh, and then you can move on to step uh, three, which is writing the issue statement. So you need to answer these basic questions, what, who, why, where, and when. So what are you doing? Who is it for? Why are you doing it? Where is it going? And when is it needed by? So here's an example of how you could write that if you were going to design um, the front suspension and steering system. So I'll just quickly change that. Okay, so you would say, what are we doing? Well, we're designing a three-wheeled electric-powered cart to compete in the head-to-head -head drag and deceleration race as part of the E-Velocity Regional Competition held at Canterbury Raceway at the end of Term 3. That statement there basically answers all of the questions. A driver is, so you need to nominate uh, a driver for your team. Pick someone that is um, small and lightweight because you want someone, the lighter someone is and the smaller they are, probably the better chance you have of winning the race. So, and then say what you're doing in your team. So I'm in charge of designing the front suspension and steering system. And then say, why are you doing this in the first place? Well, obviously you guys would like to win the race or to be competitive or to um, build and design your own rate, build and design your own electric vehicle. Um, say why are you are doing it? So that's how you write the issue statement. The next thing you need to do is to write set of attributes and design requirements. This is your design brief. So these are the rules or guidelines you set for your team um, that you keep referring back to as you go through the design process. So it's really important that you do this part well so that you have a good um, grounding and uh, a direction for where you're going to take this design. If you have no rules and no guidance, you're basically kind of floundering in the water. So you need a really clear set of design guidelines to work with and this is also going to help you judge how how good your conceptual design is or how fit for purpose it is so pretend uh sorry not pretend but um imagine that you're designing the whole vehicle the whole think about the whole vehicle so think about all parts of the vehicle when you're coming up with these attributes this is where it might be helpful for you guys to do this as a team. So you've all got the same thing. So as an example, um, attributes are design features. A priority, you need to prioritize each attribute from one being the highest priority to five being a low priority. 
and you're going to focus your efforts on all of the high priority attributes. And then design requirements, those are things um, you need to do to meet that attribute. So everybody, you guys already know that your motor, you've been given a 350 watt electric engine. And if you're in the drag race, you really need to tune that for acceleration. If you're in the uh, economy run, you need to tune that motor differently. Gearing, um, you need to think about uh, what kind of gears you might, if you're going to use gears at all. Um, have a look at that um, video I posted up on Teams. Um, one of the eVelocity students has some good tips about gearing. So that may or may not be relevant for you depending on what race you choose. Voltage, um, you know that you're going to be given a standard uh, 24 volt high density gel batteries. You get two packs of those. Um, brakes, think about if you're in the um, drag race, you have part of those conditions, you have to be able to stop in 14 meters from top speed. So you, what kind of brakes do you think you would need to do that? Are you going to require disc brakes, hydraulic disc brakes, or do you think caliper brakes would be would be um, sufficient? So specify here what design requirements you think you'll need. Um, cost, so what is your um, team's budget to produce this vehicle? So you know the schools already will supply you a kit um, to make the frame uh, if you're going to use specialist um, tools and equipment that school doesn't have i.e. if you're going to use a TIG welder and aluminium framing, that's something you might need to get done outside of school. Um, so think about cost. If your budget is low, you might have to um, make your components some secondhand bike parts. So you could make some of the steering from um, old bike handlebars. That could be your, the way you do your steering. So it's important that you come up with some sort of team budget now um, to get this project running. Time, it needs to be completed, that means the finished prototype needs to be completed by the end of term three. So you're going to have about um, a term, all of term three to build this, which is a pretty tight deadline. That's the time you're going to have to build it. This term you're going to design it. Skill, uh, what skills do you personally need to use to um, bring this idea into reality? Safety, it's, um, I've put safety as a number one priority because you need to meet the race safety requirements, otherwise you can't race. One of those requirements is that your cart must have a roll cage. Read that document. Make sure you're familiar with um, what requirements you need to meet to actually race. Style, um, that might be a three or four or a five for you. Decide on what priority that is for yourself. What are your inspiration? What are your design inspirations? What do you want this thing to look like? Steering and suspension. Again, it depends on what race you're doing. Obviously, um, you need to make sure that your steering is aligned so that um, everything is straight, um, so that you can save power and um, uh, you can get the most out of the motor. You need to follow the Ackermann's principle when you're aligning your wheels. Um, weight, obviously a low center of gravity in a lightweight frame and having things like the axle sitting below the frame would be a good design requirement for the um, for both types of races. Tires, um, this is again, this is an example. So you might have two BMX sized front wheels and a back wheel. Um, so think about, you need to write your own examples here and you need to do that as your as part of a team. So a good way to set that up is to use on teams here. You can see uh, you guys had your own team chat. So there's one is called the Wild Hunt, uh, and the other one's called E Velocity Team Two. So when you're coming up with your design brief, you really should be using this space to discuss your ideas as a team. So then you can figure out as a team what you're going to write for each of these requirements. Um, it's really important that you do take time to sit down, write your issue statement, and write your brief, because without that set of guidelines, you can't really do anything more or make any more progress. So again, any questions, uh, let me know. Otherwise, we're going to move on to the next video.